You learn when you do this, you want to have everything ready to go. Oh, yeah, I told them that. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, don't, I, I've worked with techs, and they're like pulling things as they're doing it. I'm not saying, it's just I have to have everything ready to go because things happen. Mm -hmm. I even plan for things that I'm not expecting. Because some, somebody, well, they start passing that. I've had that happen where they start to yeah. That's not too uncommon. The big guys, the 300 pound guys that like Or like have a lot of tattoos. I have out. patients who've had tattoos. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, I'm afraid of needles. You <laughs> have like a lot of tattoos. Yeah, they're like dangerous. They probably have probably post traumatic stress disorder because of all, Something, the, yeah. all the tattoos they've had. Um, so you get your, um, you have your patient. Mm -hmm. First thing you want to do is you want to um, tie the tourniquet. You want to put it on tight. And hopefully today, at some point, y'all get to put tourniquets on each other. You'll see you can tie this thing really tight. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt. So the most, most common early mistake is they just put it on. It doesn't even hurt. So I'm putting it on his body. No, just on, on his body. Arm. Yeah. Just put it on really tight. And mm -hmm. then you, if you cross it over, you yeah, do a tuck. It. And this is so you can just pop it. You don't have to sit here and try to untie it or anything mm -hmm. like that. All right. And then you're going to palpate for a vein. And so with these things, I'm finding that I find the most direct vein that's coming from the hood of these guys. Does that seem better? Yeah, oh. that's what I'm saying. It, it worked work. earlier. All right, so. Um, Do you want more blood? No, oh, not yet. We're good. Okay. All right, so I'm going to say, I'm going to try right there. All right? Oh, by the way, yeah, don't. Our nurse at, at MCD. Oh, said, yes. Do not ever say, I'm going to try there. He will jump all over you in front of the patient and everything. Never say try. No. Never say try, say you will. Yes. I will stick you right here. So. <laughs> All right. Yes. So, Don't you can hesitate. start out. I was trained you, you start out at the center, mm -hmm. the small circular motions, and you go wider and wider, and really use good friction because that this friction is what really cleans off stuff. Also, you can see the vein pop up more with people. Yep. It so. does. You can see the glistening and yeah. it helps you visualize like, where the vein is. Yes, vein I know is. that vein's going to be right. good. I'm really not at a good angle here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had to go over here to do it. All right, so, um, yeah, you want everything good. Also, you want to use gravity. Gravity's your friend. Heat is your friend. Patient that's cold, your veins are going to retract. We talked about vasoconstriction. So, you get you vasoconstriction, your body's trying to return the blood to your organs. So, if they're cold, you're, you're going to have a hard time. Um, all right, so you got your turn hit on. And we got just a little demo of this. This is actually another needle. The only reason we use this type is because this is what they use at MCD. I would personally, if I was in a brain department, I would not use this type. But it has a cap. Um, this is the needle here, the butterfly. So you always inject bevel up. There's a little, I call these little nubs on the butterfly that tells you where the bevel is. So I can't see anymore. So I can't see the bevel anymore. So I always feel that. I don't tell the patient that. So. I, so I can't feel that. So I feel, I mean, I feel that, and then I know the bevel's up like that. All right, when you inject is you'll get a little flashback, and you won't get blood going up here until you take off the cap because the air pressure is going to keep the blood from coming up here. So until you unscrew it, then you, you'll, you will, mm -hmm. you'll just see a little flashback when you hit the vein. All right, take off your cap. Don't stick yourself. And uh, don't touch. If you've cleaned it, you can't touch it again because you're using aseptic technique. And then now if you could give me just a little bit of pressure. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. All right. And then you want to go in. Uh, I always do this. Is I do a little, like a little smooth exhale when I stick to smooth everything out. And you want to, you don't want to like jab it in, but you want to go in quick and smooth. So or you can have it too. I don't know if people are. There, there we go. go. See, it works for you. But so, I guess you got to hold it while you're doing Now, so... Yeah, so it's not going to come back. It's going to flash back like that until you take the cap off. You get everything ready. You do not want to touch any ends. This is aseptic technique. Mm -hmm. you touch, you're touch. you trying to avoid as much as possible any kind of bacterial contamination whatsoever. There's bacteria over everything. I told you already, I had a professor who said, there's feces, a thin layer of feces over the entire earth. That's what you want to look at. It. So, so you, you know, see, there's bacteria on everything. All right, so I'm going to take this off. There comes the blood. And you try to time it. Yep, here we go. And put it in there. Um, all right, so, okay, what to do? So uh, that's a good sign. I got blood in there. That means there's veins in there. All right, this is where I'm going to pop my tourniquet. Because if you inject now, you got a lot of back pressure. Somebody with really wimpy veins, it could blow their vein if they do that. Their veins will, like, explode. So I'm going to pop my tourniquet. And now we have somebody, like some little old lady with teeny tiny veins. You pop the tourniquet, your needle could have come out. 
So we tape it, yeah. So what you do is this is where you want to test it a little bit. So I give it a little pull back. Okay, good. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. I'm getting blood back through here when I pull it back. And then I'm going to give it a test with this saline solution here. So I'm going to push it gently through there. And if I'm in the vein, I should not have much, it should be hardly any resistance. It should go in real nice and smooth. And then you're looking for extravasation. And that would be like signs of the saline going, missing the vein, leaking outside the vein, going up under the skin. Yeah. It literally makes like a bubble, a bubble. on the skin. Like so your TB test where you get the bubble? Yeah, that means you infiltrated the dose. So you don't want to do that. You look for that, but that's not all. You ask the patient how, you know. How does it feel? Burning, stinging? Do you feel anything like stinging or anything like that? No. A lot of times I don't feel nothing. And so when you're pretty sure, maybe you might pull back a little bit, make sure that you're getting good blood return. As long as you're getting good blood return, it's a really good sign you're in the vein. And then you um, inject your dose. So this is your medication you're gonna inject. Again, this is just saline flush. Uh, it's, it's just lightly salted water, the same consistency of the water in your tissues. You turn, it's isotonic. Um, you turn the, uh, uh, wherever this off is, you've turned this off, now it's connected from here to here. So I push in my dose. And then in nuclear medicine, all of our radiopharmaceuticals, they pretty much stick to plastic. So we mm -hmm. know that there's little tiny bits of radioactive radiopharmaceutical sticking on the plastic. I'm going to wash that out with some saline. So I use my saline flush to do that. So I turn off my patient. I draw some more saline up there. So I pull this and the saline, see how this, I'll pull this up and see how this will go down. So it goes down. So it draws it up in there. I turn off my saline and then I will finish washing it out into my patient. And then finally when I do that, I still have my washed out dose, it's still in here. So I want to give it one more good little squirt of saline to wash that through. And if I'm sure it's all, see the blood's all cleared out, that's good. Turn off the patient. Oh, it's me, right. sorry. You're done. And so you get a piece of gauze. You say, oh, I'll have my gauze radio. And you hold it over the needle. Don't put pressure yet, it's sort of like a little time thing. I'm gonna press my mm -hmm. little button that's gonna re retract my needle. I put the pressure. And then you put a piece of tape on that. Um, a lot of times I'll ask the patient to hold, if they can hold that down, I'll get the tape and that kind of thing.